You're rested, you're recovered, and you're ready for another Fit in 40 challenge. Today, the name is The Centurion. We're looking at 10 exercises, performing 10 repetitions on each, equaling 100 repetitions. So, without further ado, I'm gonna show you the exercises along with Joe. Now there's no option here for an advanced one. You're focusing on technique and time under tension. Nice slow repetitions as Joe's showing and then getting a good extension at the top of the movement. So we're gonna be repeating this for 10 repetitions. Down and up. We're gonna to look to do this for 10 reps. Now we're gonna go on to the more advanced version, up on the feet down and up and again you can do either one of these for 10 repetitions so depending on the size of your room you just want to perform five lunges on each leg whilst walking maintaining the same principles as normal so knee in front and that back knee just before it touches the ground and that is the prisoner walking lunges 10 repetitions, the same standard star jump, bringing the legs out and bringing them up with the arms at the same time. To intensify it for the 10 repetitions, we're looking at those jumping stars or the shooting stars. So again, partial squat, bringing it up and down and repeating for the 10 repetition. The first option is a knee raise. What we want to do is just really bring up the hips and bring the legs up towards your hip region. What you want to do is make sure that the feet aren't touching the ground when they reach near the bottom, just to intensify time under tension and to really get a good squeeze and contraction in your abdominal region. To make things harder, what you want to do is just extend the lever. So rather than doing the knee bend, you want to straighten the legs and then raise them up and just before they touch the ground you want to extend back up so just before they touch the ground extend back up and repeat this for the 10 repetitions what you're going to do is do a normal press up and you're going to bring one arm into the side putting the weight on the planted hand back down into a press up up with the other arm again, back down into the press up and that equates to one rep. Moving on to the more advanced version, as you see James demonstrating as well, go down into the press up, come up, raise one arm into the side, back down the other arm, putting the weight on the planted hand, back down into the press and back up. As again, one press is one press up. normal squat for 10 repetitions you all know the teaching points by now I'm sure it's just ensuring that the 90 degree bend in the knee and making sure that you stick the bum out keeping the body nice and upright and to advance it we go into the partial jumping squats yet again so slight movement off the floor keep it nice and controlled throughout the deceleration at the bottom before powering back up to force yourself into the air By getting two water bottles, for the beginner I advise 500 milliliter bottles filled up. For the more advanced, you're looking at perhaps two liter water bottles or any resistance that is going to really extend and make the exercise more intense. So with the starting position, you're looking to have the bottles at ear height before extending up in a triangle formation and then returning back down. As you can see with Joe, time under tension is important to really benefit from this exercise. So we're looking at three seconds up and three seconds back down to the start. And we're looking to perform this for 10 repetitions. Now this is the advanced option and you're looking to do like a squat and at the top of the movement you're looking to spin 180 degrees. Each repetition is each jump. 
to digress the exercise and make it that little bit less taxing on those knees, we're looking for monkey jumps at 90 degree jumps, okay? So smaller jumps and each repetition is one jump. So as Joe's demonstrating, he's already performed eight and that is the 10 completed. So the position we're gonna adopt is knees on the mat with the hands out in front. Then we're gonna slowly walk our hands out, little steps, all the way until your core engages and it's comfortable, and then slowly walk back in, as James is demonstrating. Then do one more. Again, little steps, engaging your core, all the way down till it's comfortable, and push back in. So the more advanced version is starting in a V shape, and again, using the same principles, we're gonna slowly walk our hands out, little steps, just until we're flat and it feels comfortable and walk ourselves back in. Again, we're gonna do 10 reps. One rep is all the way out until the core engages and then back in. That equals one rep.